Okay guys, this is a new location and I'm going to explain how I find location after I get a piece of property. What I do this road right here, whenever I drive up the road I have one tire on top here and one tire on top here. I leave the, the actual road tracks here for the tires. I leave those open so I can check for tracks. So what I'll do, I'll put my tires in these two spots and drive down this road and I'll check for tracks on this side coming in. Then I'll put my tires right here going out and I'll check this track for, this uh, tire track for coyote tracks on the way out. So I just got uh, permission to trap this property and I come here, so we're looking at large scale location, okay? This whole area, large scale location. So I'm driving up here and I see, I see where I think is a good spot to set traps. And this is called my macro location or medium scale right here at this uh, intersection. So I just want to show you guys what I look for. So I come driving up here and uh, let's see, okay. Bam, coat tracks. So someone else is being through here because some of the, there's some, it looks like fresh tire tracks and a lot of those coyote tracks there are covered up. So anyway, I find my macro location, which is right here. So I start looking around. So this is my medium scale location. And uh, let's see here. Okay. Now, this is very hard to see, but those are that's two coyote tracks there. That's a fresh coyote track. I'm not going to get too in depth on this video because I just want you guys to see that I found the the location, the actual medium scale location that I'm going to be setting. Right there's another coyote track. Okay, I come down here. And I keep looking. Okay. Another coyote track. So I get right here. Look what I got. I have another crossover. Wow. Now look at this. I don't know if you guys can tell. See how that stuff there is all piled up? A coyote has came here and marked this spot and just scratched and scratched and scratched. There's a lot of scratching right here. I don't know if you guys can see it right there, son. So anyway, what I'm going to do, all right, this morning, this is south, and this is north where my truck is. So this morning we have a south wind. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here. Okay, do you guys see how that one clump of grass sticks out? Okay, it comes down. You got this one clump of grass. So, uh, I'll be putting a trap right here. Okay, now let's walk up over here. Okay, since this stick was here, I'll probably put me a dirt hole right there for a north wind. You know, always set it with your prevailing wind, but always always use backup sets for uh, for any change of wind that you can have. Okay, so anyway, I'm, and I've already looked this location over, but I want to show you guys something. Look at here bedroom shoes so anyway I'm looking this location over and guess what else I find it's not very big coyote dropping 
and it's extremely fresh. It's still wet. Right there goes the tracks leading up to it. Come right here. Oh, right there it is. And the tracks are right there. So we'll get all, we'll get both of them. There's the dropping, there's the tracks. So, uh, anyway, see, more tracks, more tracks. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put two traps at this crossover. I'm gonna come right here. Put a dirt hole here. That's just a piece of trash. I'm gonna pick it up. And uh, I'll probably come right here in this open area and put some type of flat set. Maybe with a rock or a stick, something. Or I may move on down there in that bin, you know. But I just wanted to show you guys how I choose location, what I look for. And, I mean, the coyotes are here. It doesn't look like there's very many, but there's a few coyotes here. So, uh, I'll be setting this spot real soon. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to be starting a series on a, a trapping series. I'm not sure what I'm going to name it yet, but I think it's going to be Logical Coyote Trapping. I think that's what I'm going to name it. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the videos, macro location, and that, that right there should um, explain anything you guys need to know about location. So, thanks for watching.